come on in, two sisters tell, gather round everyone. I have here my trusty magic gate off. Let's take a look inside, see what it has to show us today. Take what resonates and leave out the rest. If you don't resonate with the reading, feel free to check out my other videos. You may have some messages there. Be sure to turn on the notification bell so you know each time I load, upload a new video. And like, share, and subscribe. Now without further ado, let's start the reading. I call upon you, Heavenly Father, asking that you bring down the message or messages meant for the collective and to protect me as I give them their message or messages and to protect them as they receive it. Please and thank you. I ask this in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to do, it. I'm going to do the Celtic cross thread. So if it comes back out, I'll take it.
That's, that's a little too hard to tell. At the bottom of the deck, we have the moon. Okay, let's take a look at the first theme of the reading. Get over here, or second one. We have the Hierophant in the theme one. I'm picking up your, have higher guidance. God is guiding you and your spiritual team that is guiding you as well. That's what I'm picking up on. And especially with the King of Swords along with this for theme two, I'm picking up Archangel Michael with this. Especially with that, if you didn't see it, you might want to check it out, the short uh, video that I made. I think it was, I believe it was today's, which by the time you see this, it won't be today, so it'll be Friday. Oh, but, yeah, you're highly protected by not only God, but Archangel Michael and your spiritual team. Now, what you're consciously aware of is the King of Pentacles. So you have your mind on your money, your business, project, what have you. And you're feeling quite stable within yourself. In your subconscious, you have the Ten of Cups. So, unaware to you, you're well on your way to your fully feeling happy within yourself. You're not aware of this yet, obviously. But this is what is coming to be for you. You have, I'm picking up if you tap into your subconscious more, you'll see what can bring you more to this Ten of Cups is what I'm picking up too. Now, here in your recent past or farther off past, you have the Queen of Cups. Full of love, fully in your essence. Someone who's very intuitive because the Queen of Cups is still intuitive even if it's not the uh, High Priestess there. And you're learning how to, you have, you have come to learn how to love yourself properly. That's what I'm picking up too. And filling your own cup. Now here, in your future, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So you're coming out of, after learning how to have self-love, you're now coming into more groundedness. And being more grounded, grounded in coming into your wealth, abundance, prosperity, what have you. And being more down to earth, along with knowing how to love yourself properly. So that's what's to come. Now here, in your inner reality, you have the chariot. Feeling very accomplished and victorious. And moving forward in what you're doing. And here in your outer reality, you have strength. So you're very much feeling courageous and strong at this, and bold at this time. And you feel like you can really take things on, especially with the, this in coming together in your inner and outer reality or outer environment and your inner out reality coming together. You're very courageous and triumphantly moving forward and have what it takes to do so. And I'm also picking up heavily along with this, this lion being the representation of God protecting you. And it's in front of you, protecting you from anything that comes your way. Now, here we have the challenge. We have the Three of Cups. So, your challenge is coming into what your celebrations. Things that's worth celebrating. 
whether your project coming get taking off the way it's supposed to your business or whatever accomplishments that you're trying to make come into fruition and that's your challenge right now and then you have in your likely outcome is the nine of swords so whether it's getting inside your head or feeling not well in some way that you may want to take proper care of yourself because something is in alignment with not going to line up with your health being possibly in the best of shape so while you're still taking this on on your project business whatever endeavor don't forget to take care of yourself at the same time because this nine of swords is your likely outcome and with this moon at the bottom of the deck there's something that you're not aware of yet so you really need to figure out what it is that you need to do so you can take care of yourself at the same time of propelling forward and don't let that detour you from still doing what you're doing just find a way of nurturing yourself at the same time of taking on your endeavors especially since you've learned how to properly love yourself now it's you're about to come into balancing your spirituality and your physical physical sense is what i'm picking up on too with both coined together so in your future you're going to learn how to balance that out more so and that's really going to help pay things forward so you can get through this knight of swords that's about to be coming into your reality and if you take proper precautions of taking care of yourself you may not even have that to be concerned about and if you do it might not be as bad as long as you're nurturing yourself at the same time of taking on whatever it is you're trying to do so you're not being advised not to keep doing what you're doing as far as your projects or whatever just be mindful of taking breaks when you need it so you don't put yourself too much into this nine of swords energy it's a bit of a warning to take care of yourself is what i'm picking up on so let me see if there's an overall message before i move on to the oracle i'm hearing you have everything you need to keep yourself on the right track so just keep doing what you're doing as long as you still also take care of yourself and that is all that i'm getting from the tarot i'm feeling pushed to go ahead and move on to the oracle now okay we're going to start with romance angels flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others picking up on that card don't be afraid to really be a little bit more carefree and light-hearted as, as it says you know light-heartedness energy so be a little bit more free to let yourself be open open your heart more Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other, which coins that together of opening your heart so you can have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. That'll really help things take off is what I'm picking up on. So there's not so much push and pull if you're having any push and pull in your connection. That's in reverse. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, of fun to shine. And with this being in reverse, you're, maybe you're being a little too serious and you're needing to be more, especially with the flirt and saying lighthearted energy, 
you need to bring more of your playful side out is what I'm picking up along with flirt and open your heart space and have a heart to heart conversation. Be more willing to be more playful, not quite so serious and engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Now, with that being said, it doesn't necessarily mean engagement. It could, but it just means a higher level, like you're extending more and having a better connection with your love interest that you're with or interested in. Take it however it resonates. I mean, again, it doesn't have to necessarily be engagement, just especially with the rest of it saying your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So it's just coming to a higher level, especially if you're willing to be more playful and not so serious. It'll help things lighten the mood better. That's what I'm picking up on. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're going to do the uh, psychic tarot. My bad. Obstacles and challenges. And you've had much obstacles and challenges come your way, whether it's in your connection, work, endeavors, what have you. It could be a combination of the two. Life itself is bringing obstacles and challenges, but obstacles and challenges is what helps you to propel better, put forward, and giving you that strength, like that outer, like with where the, in the tarot is showing your outer environment strength, it'll help build more strength in you and stability. With the eight, a queen of, uh, the Queen of uh, Pentacles in the future part of the read. Because it'll you know, build your strength up to where you can have that. And we have Passion Ignited. So, a passion is or will be igniting from you being able to do so. Get over these obstacles and challenges as well as being a little bit more playful rather than so serious. You can come more from your heart and your soul space rather than just in your head and letting things be more free flowing. I'm also picking up on this right here, these lines here. I'm getting ascension with that somehow. I just something about it's just making me think, especially with that ascending. So not only you're ascending, who you're connected to would be ascending, and therefore it really made the connection ascend more. I got pulled to this over here to this glue stick that said something it says school so maybe you're thinking about a passion of of yours that will take you to school so maybe you're you're about to start school or you just started school to do something that you're passionate about so you can actually turn that passion into more than just your hobby if you started out with a hobby or if it started out as a hobby and that'd be a clear sign for you that that's the right track you need to be on. Or you could be trying to go to school because you want to teach. That's what I'm picking up too. Maybe you're thinking about becoming a teacher or you are a teacher. Positive movement forward. And all of this will help bring you have bring you have. All of this will bring you into a positive movement forward. So, just keep doing what you're doing along with the advice that has come into the reading. And at the bottom of the deck is truth. So you're starting to see the truth of the matter. And with this being the 20th card, if I'm not mistaken, this might be the 
Judgment card in this deck. I'm not for sure. Uh, pro uh, it probably is. So taking a good look at yourself so you can see the truth of the matter. Again, where I was picking up, tapping more into your subconscious so you can see what can bring you more to your Ten of Cups. So that way you have more happiness within you and in your surrounding. And get to the truth of the matter. Now we're going to move on to the Moonology Oracle. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon and Taurus. And with me picking up with school and the passion, again, this is clarity that maybe you need to have a practical plan like going to school. So if you were thinking about doing something, maybe you should consider going to school for it so that way you can make that a practical plan for you is what I'm picking up on. And it's full moon and Taurus. It'll really help pay that passion you have in a more practical way. Also, setting goals for yourself, small goals that achieve to help you achieve the bigger goals. Start, you know, start with writing down smaller goals that can help you reach the next goal to the next goal to the next goal until you get bigger and bigger to goals. So make sure that each one can actually connect itself like a link and help you be able to do that in a more practical way like because you can't go from point a to point z you got to go a b c d blah, blah 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 you know so make sure that you start a small goal is what i'm picking up to guided to tell you so that way you can take those steps like steps going up the stairs or the step or the ladder to help you go one step at a time don't focus on the bigger picture i mean times you're going to want to take a look at the bigger picture but in this you want to take one step at a time because if you look at just the bigger picture it can become overwhelming so just look at what can help you get to the next step and then the next step and then the next step so you can always go with the bigger picture what you want but then take the small steps to get you there it's what I'm feeling guided to tell you. And then that will give you that more positive movement forward. And with that sun coming out, it'll give you that courage and that confidence you need. So that way you can succeed at what you're trying to succeed at. I'm also picking up because I keep getting pulled to these different things in my room. I go with it when I do. Perhaps you're you're interested in something creative because I got, I was pulled to my comic book over there. So maybe it's something creative, but you would need to go to school because that would help you know how to go about it the right way. But make sure you get the experience at the same time. Just always remember that. Try to if that's all po it, you know if that you can make that possible because that'll be in your best interest. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Especially with this all lined up with the heart-to-heart -heart conversation, passion ignited, and bring love into the situation. Really open up your heart space more. Even if it feels scary, you have to have your heart open to receive and to give. And vice versa. Because if it's closed off, you can't do either one. So, be sure you have your heart opened. Also, if you want to have your dream career, endeavor, whatever, to come into reality, you have to have your heart open to receive that, as well as making those practical plans.
Expect powerful change. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. So by doing all of this and being able to move positive, having positive movement forward, it'll give you, you can expect more powerful change in a great way, in a more positive way. So be sure that not only you take care of yourself properly, but make a practical plan. Keep your heart space open. Don't be quite so serious. Take a life. Life is too short to be so serious all the time. Allow yourself to have fun and enjoy your life at the same time. And then everything will come flowing in like it needs. Move. Okay. And then at the bottom of the deck we have be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. So you're, along with that inner outer card being strength. The strength card you're being told be bold like I was picking up bold with the sh courage and uh, strength and boldness be bold and make the first move now that could be in love but that could also mean be bold enough to take that chance and go ahead and take that first move that you need to get to your goal because if you just continuously just stay back just in your head wishing and dreaming of what you want it'll never come to be because you're not taking that practical plan that action you got to have the plan the, the bigger picture the plan and the actual going after what you're wanting you have to make that first move to go and have that dream career endeavor what have you to come into your reality it's not going to just land in your lap. You got to move forward and make that first step. So the, just think of an actual step. If you if you want to get up the stairs, you have to first take the first step because if you want to get to the top, you got to start on the first step first or you'll never get there. You're not going to just levitate there. You're going to have to actually put your feet forward and go is what I'm being guided to say on that. And these obstacles and challenges will make that great change with number five there. And I'm picking up on eight as well. So it'll give you infinite possibilities is what I'm picking up on by doing what you're keep pushing forward, but also making those initial changes that need to be made and those practical plans and actions because it's not going to happen without you also putting forth the action to go along with your plan. But first make the plan after seeing the bigger picture. Now I'm going to see if there's anything else I'm picking up on before I close out the reading. I'm picking it with this circle here. You'll come into full circle by doing this. And it will make you feel more complete and whole. Along with that, what's in your subconscious being Ten of Cups. That will make you feel more whole. Because then you'll have your purpose. And you're actually going forward with your purpose. And having purpose will light your soul on fire. So, don't be afraid to go ahead and go after what you want. Because the only one that will be in your way at that point, if you don't, is yourself. So don't hold yourself back. Be bold and make that first move. And that's all I'm getting from the reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it brought you clarity. And I enjoyed the reading as well. And thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, God bless.